Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. And uh, yesterday was Kristallnacht, a anniversary, 85 years since it happened. And for those of you who don't know what is Kristallnacht, it was a night in uh, 1938 in which uh, uh, the Nazi party in Germany and Austria uh, smashed windows of a uh, Jewish shops, uh, Jewish houses, and uh, put on uh, hundreds of uh, synagogues uh, on fire. Uh, there was uh, an excuse for that, a, a boy called Herschel Grinchpan, uh, who shot uh, the German embassy in Paris, uh, not the German embassy, but an emissary from the German embassy and killed him. And that was the great excuse to put out something that uh, was planned a long time beforehand. So why am I talking about that? Because yesterday the Duchess of North Sussex asked, is Harry going to delve into his Nazi uniform event when he was younger. Is he going to talk about it? And I'm going to expand that. I'm going to ask uh, if Harry is going to go into his uh, racist uh, slurs, his, his racist past. Is he going to talk about it in his book? Is he going to try and explain? I'm going to use a... Uh, uh, this tarot deck called the White Cat's Tarot, and I'm going to uh, try and do a reading that is called My Truth or Harry's Truth, because uh, this is something that Megan likes to uh, use, a, a, a word salad that she really likes to uh, talk about, as if there is really a difference between the universal truth and a person's truth, because it's either truth or not. So what is Harry trying to avoid? What is he trying to not, uh, what is he trying to, let's say, uh, not see? What is he lying to himself about? And is he going to, uh, to delve into his uh, past, indiscretion. So let's start with clearing the deck and saying my disclaimer. This is a right, uh, their tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. So let's clear the deck. Okay, now let's ask. So what is Harry lying to himself about? What is the real truth? And is he going to uncover the, the real truth in his book? Or is he going to go on lying to himself and to the world? Is he going to talk about his past racist slurs, his past uh, wearing Nazi uniform event, is he going to touch those things in his book or is he going to only speak about his own grievances? Okay, so let's cut it in three and the first card is going to tell us what is Harry lying to himself about. So the first card is Strength. Okay, now strength is not a bad card. It's a message card, but it is a card that speaks about finding control within yourself. Now, because he's lying to himself about that, this is a card that tells us that Harry is telling himself that he controls his life. Uh, he's telling himself that he's not inside the lion's mouth. 
And the lion, you know, in this instance, signifies the Leo woman who is Megan. He is trying to tell them himself that he's not in this situation, that he is not in danger of losing himself, that he is not being controlled by his wife, that he is the one in control in his, of his life, and it shows his lack of control. It shows his insecurity. So these are the things that uh, he's uh, being untruthful to himself about. It shows that he has difficulty in self-fulfillment. It shows that he has tendency to addictions. And it shows that he has ego problem, very low uh, self-esteem, and even physical weakness. So he allows Megan contro to control him, and he's trying to lie to us and to himself to say that this is not the real truth. This is not the picture as it, as you, as it is. This is not the truth, but it is. Okay, so what is the truth? Okay, what is the truth? And the truth is, King of Wands. Okay, so King of Wands is the person that is never really satisfied from anything because he's the one who knows how to initiate things. He doesn't know how to take them all the way through. He doesn't know how to uh, persist. This is a person that gets angry very easily, a person that is impulsive, a, pers a person that gets angry very easily, a person that is losing interest very easily. So so this is the truth. The truth is uh, the combination of the page of wands that we always see with them, uh, the jumping from one bandwagon to another, the queen of wands, which is the egotistical queen that actually controls his life and causes, causes him to be someone who cannot persist. Now, he wasn't like that before he married Megan. He could persist. He started the Invictus game. He started Santa Ballet. He was uh, co operating with his brother in the, uh, uh, in the foundations that they had. He, uh, he heads together all sorts of things that he started and was going on for years. And now that Megan is on, is, has come to, into his life, he is unable to persist in anything. So uh, even this book was uh, in danger of not coming out because he was getting cold feet all the time. So, uh, and as Trevor Colt says, uh, the person who actually wrote this book is Megan, and she's the one who uh, decided on the name. Uh, so this, is, this isn't something that he has done uh, in, in a way that someone does from beginning till end. So once again, this is the truth. He is a very angry, irritated man who is very impulsive. He married Megan on an impulse, and he is not very good in persisting anything from, because of that. Okay, so the next card is, sorry, it goes like that. So the next card is a, is he going to talk about things that are uncomfortable to him? Is he going to talk about, or is he, has he talked about his Nazi uniform past, his, uh, his uh, slurs, his uh, racist slurs? Is he going to uh, admit to those things, or is he still going to claim that uh, he's in control, that he's the one who controls everything? and just ignore that. Now, he cannot come out and say it, wasn't, uh, it, it didn't happen, but he can ignore it. So what I'm getting here is the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is actually a yes answer. So he is going to go into this. Uh, he's going to try and pacify everyone. He's going to try and appease everyone. This is what the King of Swords is doing. This is the Libra man. This is a man who a person who wants equilibrium. Uh, and this is a person who also very, very much cares about his family, his own family, and uh, not very much thinking about the whole world. So 
his motive of uh, talking about it is because he cares about his own family and he realizes that he has no uh, no way but, but to address that and he will try to find all sorts of excuses he might even try to sway the guilt on someone else but he will try he will touch that but he will try to tell the world it wasn't his fault. So this is what he's going to do about those things. The next card is, a, is he going to a, blame others on a, on that on the or at least on the event of wearing the Nazi uniforms? And I'm getting the Temperance card. The Temperance card is a card that speaks about believing. This is a card that speaks about being temperate, but also about all you need to do is to believe that everything is going to be okay and then everything will be okay. This is a card of someone who believes in miracles. Uh, this card is actually telling me that yes, he's going to try and mix the truth. As you can see here, the cat is mixing water from one jack to the not to other to the other, and this is uh, this is the what the intuition tells me about this question. He's going to try and mix the truth. He's going to try and find ways to make others believe him that he was not culpable in that case. So this is what this card is telling me. It's a major arcana, so he's not going to name anyone. He's going to leave it in the very uh, vague... Uh... So he's not going to come down to earth and say this and this uh, swayed me uh, that person is culpable but he's going to insinuate and he was going to try and make people believe him he's going to make it sound believable that it's not it wasn't his fault so all of this he's going to try and yeah, to, to address it but he's going to try and brush the culpability from himself and to try and do that, uh, to say that someone else is culpable. Okay, so is he going to ever address the real truth? So is he going to really uh, find out or admit to himself the truth? And what I'm getting here is another court card, and it's the King of Pentacles. So as I told you, uh, court cards are always a yes answer when we're asking a yes or no answer. But uh, it's more true when you are talking about whether a person should do something. Uh, less so when we're talking about is he going to do something, but it's still a yes card, and it's, but it does show, give us an insight when we're looking at the explanation. Rosie, maybe you want to decide. Maybe you She wants out again. So we really need to look at the uh, interpretation of the King of Pentacles to understand uh, what, is the, what is he going to do? Is he going to face uh, the truth one day or not? And uh, this is a card that speaks about someone who is the general manager, someone who is able to uh, handle things uh, that are connected to money, to independent career. But this is a person who doesn't really care about his own family. And in, it is a card of someone who is cold. It is a card of someone who is stubborn. And in, I'm going to take the stubbornness of this card from here, and I'm going to say that he's not going to face reality as it is because it's not getting into his narrative, because it's not something that he wants to admit to himself, and because it's not a good way of making money. So for his, uh, or in his eyes, 
uh, he is not looking at the book as a way to solve his problems or to uh, to admit to all sorts of truth. It's only a way of making money and being truthful about things is not going to help him. So uh, that's what he thinks. I think that if he's being truthful, he won't. He will be a lot more believable, and people will want to read what he's write. Uh, what he's writing and not, uh, not uh, they don't want to read what his wife re wrote. So once again, this card, although it's a yes card, is telling me that because of the uh, interpretation of this card, uh, he's too stubborn to uh, admit to the real truth. Okay, uh, next card is, <clears throat> I'm sorry, is Harry good enough to succeed in the things that he wants to succeed? Is he really good enough? And the answer that I'm getting is the Knight of Swords. So that's another court card, and I think that it is one, two, three, four court cards, two major arcanas, all in, in this reading, and we're talking about six cards uh, by, the, by, by now. None of the cards are minors, real minors. So minors are more down to earth cards, are cards that it's a lot easier to, uh, to feel, to, to really see them uh, being uh, any kind of, um, getting into something. Court cards are people that lose opportunities. The Knight of Swords is, an, is the small kid. This is someone who loves, uh, it, who doesn't like to do the work by himself. He's waiting for others to do that for him. He is, this is a person that would use a, a ghostwriter. He won't even try to write himself. He is not someone who likes to do the work. And that is also about whether or not he's uh, willing to do the real kind of mental work that he needs to do. Uh, so this card is, is a no. He's not good enough because he's not doing things by himself. He's waiting for others to do that. And this is another card that shows me that he's going to try and shift the blame. Uh, this is another card that shows that he's not willing to take uh, responsibility to, for the things that he has done. He is so, and, and he's losing opportunities because of that over and over again and that is why we have so many court cards here so the last card is what will be the outcome the real outcome of this uh, old situation of him coming out with uh, telling us about uh, the Nazi uniform uh, incident, but not taking responsibility. What will be the outcome of that? And the outcome of that will be the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords, it's the only minor arcana in this reading, and it's not a very good one, because the Four of Swords is a card of someone who is uh, taking some time off, someone who is unable to make decisions. That is the psychological uh, interpretation, but uh, this card is a, uh, looks like someone who has, a, as you can see, uh, three swords over his head. Uh, he's not in a very good uh, situation. Here, he that even looks dead. It's not even looks like someone who is asleep or is uh, uh, resting. This is a person who is really in very bad situation. This is a person who is ill. And illness doesn't have to be... A, uh, to be physical, can also be mental illness. Uh, this is a card of someone who is standing still. So no, he will not have a good outcome here. People will not appreciate his att attempt to try and sway the blame on others, to try and tell other, to, to say, to shift the, the, or to sway the truth and to try and claim things that things were different than they really were. People are not going to appreciate that and altogether it's going to be very difficult for him. So it's not going to have a good uh, outcome. And the outcome doesn't have to mean that he's not going to uh, 
sell many books at the beginning at least, but, it, but he's going to uh, need to go and hide himself. This is what this uh, cat is doing. He's hiding because he cannot face reality, he cannot get out of bed and face reality. This is how Harry is going to feel uh, with all the backlash that will come out uh, with that in his book. So this is the tarot and another unicorn card. These are Diana Cooper unicorn. So uh, once again, what can we do? How can we handle Harry's attempt to shift the blame on someone else? So just clearing the deck. Okay, so how can we deal with what is Harry is going to try and do in his book how, about trying to shift the blame on what he did on someone else, on trying to sway the truth and portray it as his, his truth. So what can we do about it, apart from not buying the book? Okay, so the card that I am having here is opening. A new door is opening for you, and this is for us. So I believe that this book is going to open up for us a new door, a new way of, uh, of handling things. Uh, it is a key to an opportunity, a new opportunity. Uh, it tells us to be aware of what is being made available. And if we cannot see it, uh, we can create our own opportunities. So all of this is going to help us uh, have a new opportunity to show the world who Harry has become and how Meghan is controlling him. Everything that we saw here, uh, when he tries to shift the blame on things that he has done on other people, this will open a door for us to come out and say things as they are. Okay, so this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. See you on the next one. Bye.